So let me see here. The Satanic Temple. Right. So I looked further and I saw that they do have a a devil statue. Satan, like Baphomet. And they have many of that, you know. Baphomet statue and stuff like that. Right. They have plenty of different ones. But just recently they they made one with two children. And I didn't see it. I saw this yesterday. I'm not playing, man. I don't look up this shit. I saw it in the article, news article. But you know, the devil is very good with cutting um, stuff. So I didn't really pay attention to how the children look like when I saw them, right? You saw a model over here, which is a 3D model, you know? I saw a little Caucasian kid over there. But I was already suspicious because I was look at, looking at it. I was like, why is his, why is his hair like that? I don't I don't like that. I don't like that one bit. Why is his hair like that? So in the beginning I thought it was um let me see. I thought it was some kind of Edomite with hair like this or whatever. You know. I already found it strange. I'm like, why don't you put your own fucking straight hair? Cause you have to understand, they go beyond measurement trying to make sure that our people are bald. Uh, also, you know, the super, super black superheroes and stuff like that. They make them bald. They make them lined up. And they do all type of things in order just to get away from that hair. So, I was already suspicious on that. Then, of course, I started to dig into it. Look, more pictures. But, you know, the devil. <laughs> they do what they do. I already saw it here. And I was like, why is his hair like that? Didn't really pay attention. Actually, I was already like focusing on it, and then I saw his face. Now, look at me. Wait a minute. That's a broad nose. Hmm. Clicked on further. This is clay, of course, made with clay. A preview. Okay. Then I saw I saw the iron one. I don't know if this is iron or I think it's iron. Some form of iron. And then I looked here and I was like, why don't they show me a good picture? Because I already, I, I think I know what it is. And then I saw this one. I was I'm, now I'm pissed off. You see what these devils are doing? You have to understand that they do not like to represent us, especially with our hair, because that's the hair of the Heavenly Father, as you can see it here. Yes, I said the Heavenly Father, not just his son. Daniel 7 and 9. I beheld that the thrones were cast down, and the Ancient of Days did sit. He was before days. That's the Heavenly Father whose garment was white as snow, and the hair of his head like the pure wool. Hmm. If you go to Google and you type in woolly hair, then you will get them because Google has been compromised, of course. You will get them. But if you go to Swiss, let me see. Then what will you get? You will get the original one, which is this. The first one that will pop up is this. And this, like a sheep. He actually looks like a sheep. And this is his real hair because this is some sort of model, dude. And stuff like that. But you will get dark-skinned people more often than with Google, of course. Because with Google, you get them. God, look, look at this fucking shit over here. Really? You gotta be kidding me. Anyway, this is what you will get on Google. Let me see what you have on Yandex. Um, woolly hair. Man, you will get them too. Right. The first ones to pop up and stuff. Whoa, shit. This is what they call woolly hair. Wow. Okay. A genetic hair disorder. Right. Anyway, if you type in this. Cord wig. This is what they do when they want to judge you. And the ultimate judge of the Bible has woolly hair. And his son has woolly hair. And the saints. But of course, uh, the saints have intermingled. So you have uh, others of us that look like them because of the so-called intermingling. But anyway. Right. So I know what they represent and all their characters in their movies and their, especially their cartoons, they want to make us bald over there. But here, when it comes to doing evil or when you see LG, whatever, the alphabet people, you know, those things, those little things over there. 
when you see pictures of them and then they put us in the forefront why because they want to have us do the devil shit also because they're all about destroying the real children of israel if you read the book of jeremiah 31 you will see why they really want to get us out of here boy by making us sin and then therefore the heavenly father will destroy us and judge us but they put the little, little white girl over there too but anyway this is my concern this is this is what i'm i'm uh, looking at like what the fuck why you want to put us why why don't you do your own little caucasian male boy no because they want to destroy our men our people you know right and they keep on not really showing it real good but i have i seen enough but like i said i thought this was some edomite like this guy over here you know because i saw that the thing and then they made the statue and i was like what the fuck Okay, cool. So, like I said, I typed in and I looked if there's a statue of uh, the Heavenly Father. You know, there isn't. There are statues of Satan. Naked saluting Satan statue removed from Vancouver Park. And then they put up another one, or maybe the other one was already there, but they didn't remove it. What the devil? Pregnant white statue spotted in East Vancouver. So, and, uh, by the way, you can look this thing up for yourself. If you if you feel like it, if you have the time. So yeah, uh, I don't know what the hell they're doing, but I do know that they're showing their true nature, which is Satan, and them lies are being exposed. See, we in the last days right now of the so-called Caucasian race, they're they're on a, they're ruler shit. We in their last days, that's why they that's why they're complaining so much. You fucking immigrants are coming to taking our jobs yeah 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 yeah. shut the fuck up because you remember that you did the same shit to the native americans you did the same you did the same to the the, Austra the aboriginals in australia you did you did the same to vietnam you came there without being called you just came there never been invited you just came there rape rob murder and then you know the rest is history but ain't nobody talking about that but it's all good because the heavenly father is going to talk about it you know what i'm saying he's going to remind you He's going to remember. You know what I'm saying? So it says, 2nd Esther chapter 6, verse 9, if I'm correct. 8. And he said unto me, From Abraham unto Isaac, when Jacob and Esau were born of him, Jacob's hand held first the heel of Esau, which are the Caucasian people, and Esau, this is the forefather of the so-called Negros, Latinos, and Indianos. This is the forefather of all the Caucasian people. For Esau is the end of the world, and Jacob is the beginning of it that followeth. And who is the end? Well, who rules now? The iron and the clay, which is the um, EU and, and America, actually. America is that, um, that beautiful woman that sitteth upon the beast, and that beast is the EU, UN. Right, and, that, and America is that beautiful woman that everybody wants to go toward. Everybody want to go to America because they see the glory over there, the beauty and all that, that type of nonsense. But now it's showing to be a female on crack. You know, and not a lot of people want to go to America anymore because that American dream is crumbling. You got to be asleep to see that shit, to, to see that dream, you know. You got to be asleep. And you, therefore, you got to be in darkness, because when you sleep, what, what's what, what's happening? It's lights out, right? But yeah, so there you have it. You know, they change in the words, bit by bit in the Bible, so that people will get a fish in their head, or a whale, or this or that, whatever these type of things. But if you know what the true word is, that's that it says there. You will get a different understanding when you read these scriptures. You will know other things. And then therefore you will know that their um, uh, theory about the Big Bang, it's bullshit. You know? And now you can actually, you can think and be like, hey, wait a minute. So maybe these holes are, yeah, this is a good picture, man. They, they, they want to make you think like they don't know. They fucking know. They know exactly what used to be here. Where the, where's the bombardier here? Hey, did you see this thing? 
and it can breathe fire. Well, this one can spit it and shoot it out of his butt cheeks. But this one, hey, it is bigger. And, that, and, and I'm going to leave you with this scripture, which is uh, the book of, well, where is it again? Oh, man, I forgot where it was. Um, wait. Right, I got it. There was Wisdom of Solomon, chapter 8. Um, verse, I think it was 11, if I'm correct. <laughs> um, and, um, what was it again? And, um, eh? Wait a minute. Yeah, sorry about that. 11, 18, not 8. 11, 18. Yeah. Wisdom of Solomon, chapter seventeen, uh, chapter eleven, verse seventeen. For thy might, for thy almighty hand that made the world of matter without form. He made it into matter. Wanted not means to send among them a multitude of bears or fierce lions or unknown wild beasts full of rage. <laughs> Man, so the Heavenly Father created beasts full of rage, unknown beasts, wild beasts, but he didn't want them to send it on the if you read the whole chapter you will see it's uh, the, uh, it happened to the Egyptians <laughs> breathing out either a fiery vapor fiery vapor or filthy sense of scattered smoke which is even what the bombardier beetle does um, and you have another insect that shoots acid um, insect acid what was it again that a bug it is a bug but it shoots it into the eyes of um yeah this no 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 not this one no this one does it too if i'm correct okay i'm not sure about this one uh, oh acid spraying okay I, okay i didn't know that one but that's not the one that i'm looking for this is smoke that comes out which is 100 degrees celsius and 100 degrees celsius is 100 uh, fahrenheit here no um the other one around no, 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 no. I need it. I need it. Like, wait, can I, can I turn it around? Fahrenheit, uh, no, 100 degrees here. 100 degrees. Yeah, it's 212 Fahrenheit. That's how hot it is. What he's shooting. Wait, no, 100 degrees. Two. Um. Bomba. Deer. Fahrenheit. Mm. here 212 Fahrenheit which is 100 degrees Celsius that's what he shoots and he doesn't burn himself because <laughs> you can clearly see him hitting himself in his neck his up, upper body and stuff like that no let it hit you see what happens <laughs> but you have to understand this animal is small so when it hits a person it's going to hurt but it's not going to kill you. But if you are the same length as him, can you imagine how much you would melt? Hmm? You should think about that one. But there's another bug that does it also. I'll put the link in the description box so you can check it out for yourself. But the other bug does it. Shoots, not, not Texas, man. Shoots acid. Yeah, the bombardier beetle. And there's another one. Oh, man, I can't. Yeah, I'll put the link in the description box. Right, so. There's a lot of animals that can shoot, uh, well, insects and stuff like that, that can shoot certain things that it would amaze you when you know about it, you know? Let me see who reported one of them fired acid into his mouth. Apparently, <laughs> he placed one of them in his teeth. It's not a submission. Whatever, man. But you put something in your mouth, man. This is this seems like a, a lie, as as they always do. Cause you know the either my nation is is li they're liars, they're fucking liars, boy. You have no idea. Grown men lying to you, a grown ass male. 
lying to you for decades and centuries, man. But they, that's what the Heavenly Father said. The devil is a liar. He's a fucking... <laughs> he's a fucking liar. He's a liar. And the Father said that, you know, in the end days, well, he's going he's gonna, to he's gonna let his real people know, like, hey, you see that devil over there? <laughs> Don't trust him. <laughs> <laughs> He's a goddamn devil. He lied to you, but don't don't believe in those devils, man. He lying to you. <laughs> right. So I'm gonna put the link in the description box uh, so you can check it out for yourself. But you have uh, or filthy sense of scattered smoke, or shooting terrible sp har oh, sorry shooting horrible sparkles out of their eyes. You even had this lizard. So it says here. Or shooting horrible sparkles out of their eyes. You have this lizard shoots blood out of his eyes. Here. It is the shot horned lizard. It actually shoots blood out of its eyes, man. You think he got beat up? No, nah, this is his own blood. And he shoots it as a defense mechanism. So how much more? So if the Heavenly Father already see he he finna shoot you, and the blood doesn't is is actually it's gonna mess you up. Let me see. Bizarre self-defense strategy. Strategy. Sorry. Um, let me see. Thin blunt vessels around his eyes and stuff like that. That rupture under pressure. If it feels threatened by a predator. Sinus in his eye socket. As a result, the predator is often frightened and flies. <laughs> Please, sorry to listen to us. <laughs> you know, there you have it. You, oh, okay, this, this is already a, how do you call that thing? An example to show you that, okay, so it is possible. So, uh, is it possible for them to shoot electricity and stuff like that? Uh, or, so, or sparkles? Sparkles of fire, actually. Sparkles of fire, but it's also electricity. So electric, it is fire. So which one is it? Um, by the way, let me see here. If you spark something like when you burn, mm -hmm. I forgot how you call this in the English. I forgot how you call it, but this over here with uh, birds, not birds, horses eat horses. Is a hay. I think it's hay, right? When you burn this, what do you hear? Bath, 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 bath. Those are, and if you if you zoom in or if you, if you just look, you would see little sparks. Puff, bath, 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 bath. Right. Those are sparks, by the way. But yeah. So it is possible for at least one animal from the heavenly father that he created to be able to shoot something out of its eyes. Right. So. Could it be electricity? Could it be fire? This is a, you have you have electric eels that shoot <laughs> that shoot you. And do they, what do they have? <coughs> they have these chambers within wherewith they are able to shut the shit at you. Yep. That's what they are able to do. Touch it if you think you're tough. Kills on an alligator out here. You know, he did the electric boogie, man. He trying to catch him on track. You know, so he got his ass whooped up. He got him say he was dancing, boy. He was doing the boogie. Electric boogie, man. He doing the boogie. He doing the boogie. <laughs> he, he thought himself finna go catch me some food. You know, he was, you know what I'm saying? He was, he was minding his business, chilling, having a ball, having a swim. And this dude was like, nah, man, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to terrorize you. I'm a, I'm a bad man. I'm a bad man. I'm going to come get you. Huh? Well, well, <laughs> he won. He won that time. <laughs> but yeah, this one didn't. And this is how they feel. Uh, because this was an experiment. I saw this video. Right. Yeah, here, here the video. Here's the video. 
I'll put this in the description box so you can check it out for yourself. But yeah. So what is the point of this video that I made here? This is uh, the point is to show you that they're liars. That's one second that there are dragons in the Bible, uh, dinosaurs as you could call them nowadays. The Earth is not millions of years old. They they fucking lying to you, man. And I'm gonna leave it with this. <coughs> The wicked people rule this planet Earth. Job 9.24 The Earth is given into the hand of the wicked. <laughs> That's all I have to say. He covereth the faces of the judges thereof. Who are the real judges on the planet Earth? The Heavenly Father. That's one. Second is His Son. And third are the Israelites. The saints. If not, where and who is He? 1 Corinthians 6 and 1. Dear any of you having a matter against another, go to law before the unjust. So if you have troubles with each other, are you going to go to the Caucasian people? They're fucking unjust, man. <laughs> they will give our people 25 to life for fucking weed, man. Weed. Weed. And they give themselves a few years. Or even the ankle bracelets for raping on their own kids, man. Convicted of uh, touching his three-year-old daughter. Seven years after she then five, told relatives that she didn't want my daddy touching me anymore. But what did he get as punishment? He was spared prison. That's what he got. I'll put this link in the description box. And the judge said, it says here, the wealthy heir to the DuPont family fortune was spared prison by a Delaware court in 2009 because he would not fare well behind bars, according to the court documents CNN obtained Tuesday. Well, that's great. At least you're keeping the streets safe. <laughs> but now we're fucked. We don't go to the unjust for justice. Okay, that's a devil. All I have to do is this. Let me see. <clears throat> sentenced to life for selling weed and it was a $30 sack worth of marijuana less less than $30 will soon be released from prison we what we yay another one here in Dubai. Okay, Dubai. Okay, you fucking around in the wrong place, kid. <laughs> oh, he's from London. Sucker. Dubai. Well, if this was in Dubai, he'd be dead. I'll tell you that. If this was in Dubai, you shouldn't be fucking around with weed there. Anyway, dude, around there, you can't even buy alcohol. What are you doing? Oh, they, they punish people like that too, there too, which is unreasonable, by the way. Chopping your hands off, that's not in the scriptures. But they don't work with the scriptures, they got their own stuff. So it says here, 1 Corinthians chapter 6, verse 2, Do ye not know that the saints shall judge the world? And if the world shall be judged by you, are ye unworthy to judge the smallest matter? So it says here, the saints are going to judge the world. Who are the saints? And wait a minute, uh, yeah, here 50 and the five Psalms 50 and five. Gather my saints together unto me, and who are they? Those that have made a covenant with me by sacrifice. So, who made the covenant with the with the with the Heavenly Father? Hmm, I wouldn't know. Genesis 17 and 6. It's 9. Oh, sorry, 10. 9, actually. Well, it's in 7 too. 7. And I will establish my covenant between me and thee and thy seed after thee in their generations for an everlasting covenant to be a 
a god unto thee, and to thy seed after thee. Verse 10. Verse 9. And the heavenly father said unto Abram, Thou shalt keep my covenant, therefore thou and thy seed after thee in their generations. This is my covenant which ye shall keep between me and you and thy seed after thee. Every man child among you shall be circumcised. That's the sacrifice. Blood. You need to bleed. So, we made a... Uh oh, wait a second. The saints of the Heavenly Father are going to judge the world. Know ye not that we shall judge angels? How much more things that pertain to this life? So, if they will be able to rule over angels, <clears throat> tell them to do certain stuff or whatever, how much more? And by the way, the angels are not going to make mistakes. They're just going to summon angels, for example, to fight, you know, to do stuff for them. But they're going to judge the people of the planet Earth, as it is written here, for example, in Isaiah chapter 2. Verse 1 until verse 4. All the people of the earth will come. Uh, uh, let me read it. Isaiah 23. And many people shall go and say, Come ye, let us go up to the mountain of the Lord, to the house of the God of Jacob. And he will teach us of his ways, and we will walk in his paths. For out of Zion, <coughs> sorry, for out of Zion shall go forth the law, and the word of the Lord from Jerusalem. So, the Israelites are going to be the saints, are the saints, but, but I mean, the, the Israelites are going to, going to be the judges upon the planet Earth. And they're going to judge people. And this would be certain death, 100%. Just like the Arabs would. If they catch you. But they're unjust also. Because when you're rich around the Arabs, you can do those things. Because <laughs> you have that oil money. So, money corrupts. And then therefore, the people are corrupted. But the Lord is going to make the Israelites uncorruptible. That's in the book of 1 Corinthians chapter 15. The Negros, Latinos, and Indianos will be uncorruptible. So you can't bribe us. So once I know, you'd be dead for the crimes you committed. Right. And uh, I think that that is it. But yeah, like I said, I looked for a statue of God in America. Couldn't find it. But I did find Satan. And it was even more shocking that I found out that they put my, my, what? My people with the woolly hair, which they normally never do. How do they always put us bald, lined up, weird ass hair, straight up, but the females is doing it themselves. Look here. That did look like a black female to you. Look like a goddamn white chick with straight hair. No, a tan. A tan is another word for brown, basically, actually. Look like a brown skinned white chick. You know, our people are always lined up bald. Why they make Nick Fury bald? He's not bald when he's so called Caucasian. He's an Edomite. <coughs> He's not bald. He has hair. But when they put us, then they make him bald. There's another one which is, uh, what is it? Green Latin? Yeah, you got him in the cartoon, of course. He has his hair. But when you put the, when you put the other one, yeah, in some one they put it here, and some, um, and then, comic books things they put him with hair but what 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 the fuck is this shit that's not allowed according to the book of Leviticus um, Leviticus 19 uh, shall I have no baldness upon the head In Leviticus 21 and 5, they shall not make baldness upon their head. 
So that's not allowed. But you don't see them pushing that for themselves. You know, you see them pushing that for us. And I remember, I remember this one. This one, I remember this one. And this one had hair, yeah. But anyway, I remember Luke Cage. And then they call him Hero for Hire. Like, he only saves you for money. You see what type of devil shit they're doing? You know, he, he had the hair. But later on with the new generation, they started to make him like this. And he always gets shot. He's been shot in the trailer more times than Superman has been shot in his whole career. <laughs> you know? Is he, is he, is he, is he, what? Okay, can't, can't stop that white booty, huh? <laughs> Okay, that reminds me of that statue, actually. Can't stop with that white booty, huh? But anyway, right. This is what they, you know, the slave shit. This is always how they prepare us. But it's good. You don't go to the unjust for justice. You know, you don't go to them and complain, why are you always making this like this? Shut the fuck up. Just be patient, because the Heavenly Father said this. Revelation, chapter 13, verse 9. This is the last one. If any man have an ear, let him hear. Actually, I have another one, actually. If any man have, have, have an ear, let him hear. He that leadeth in the captivity shall go in the captivity. He that killeth with the sword must be killed with the sword. Here is the patience and the faith of the saints. Man, you know what? I'll do this another time. But yeah, actually, no, I'll do read it. Uh, Isaiah 14 and 2. And the people shall take them and bring them to their place. And the house of Israel shall possess them in the land of the Lord for servants and handmaids. So we're going to have slaves in the land of the Lord. And they shall take them captives whose captives they were. Oh, who? Wait a minute, who enslaved us? I, I, I can't remember. Hmm. Okay. And they shall rule over their oppressors. Oh. Who is oppressing my people? Hmm. I don't remember anymore. <laughs> I have no idea. <laughs> I don't know. I don't remember. Amnesia. What the fuck? This is what's happening nowadays, man. You got black people being licked by dogs nowadays, man. Shit. This is disgusting, man. Hey, man, they've been into in America too long. That's what. So that's what I think. No, no, I don't think I know. They've been in the state. They've been among their enemies so long. They've been among their enemies so long. That they, no, 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 no. You don't look like that. This is what y'all look like. Okay, um, celebrities actually. On the YouTube, they make on the, on the, on the on the internet they make them look real, or like they like they're real. But what is the last time you actually saw them walking like this on the street? You, 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 you shut the fuck up. They walk like this on the street. You know, uh, they walk like this on the street. You know, um, <clears throat> they walk like this on the street. You know, this is how they walk like. So that other th shit is fake. I see him walking like this. You know, I see him walking like this, and they think they're pretty too. <clears throat> I bet you she thinks she's pretty. <clears throat> this one thinks she's pretty. How can you be pretty or beautiful if you have to look like another person? Then that shows you by by this the definition of it shows you that you're ugly, compared to, uh, uh, according to yourself. By the way, so if you have to look like something else or somebody else, guess what? You're not as pretty as you think that you are, or actually as you portray yourself to be, because by doing this, 
you show what you really are, which is you're only pretty when you look like something else. That's what you are. What is the opposite of that? What is the opposite of beautiful? The perfect dust. Get the fuck out of here, boy. Perfect. Really? You gotta be smoking crack cocaine. They even have a mindset like that. Like you're perfect. You really, really. And then they get angry when this girl. Uh, why do black female? Oh shit! Make a big deal about people stealing their. <coughs> they shouldn't because they steal yours. So we're down and say shalom. Look at this shit. Look like a fucking fox in the wood in the woods. And when I say fox, I don't mean beautiful. I mean you actually look like a fox. Yeah. So with that, we say shalom.